Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. Now before we get started, again, quick reminder, we are giving away a Supercell box that contains a bunch of stuff that is exclusive in Brawl Stars. There is no way to get this box. They give it to creators once in a while. This is the second time ever I have gotten one, so it just shows how rare they are. But anyways, if you guys want to win it, very easy. We're doing a giveaway. All you need to do is be subscribed to the channel. Just hit that sub button. Super, super easy. And all that needs to be done is that. I'm going to select one random winner. I'm going to DM you guys or shout you guys out in a video. And that's all you need to know. So don't forget to hit that subscribe if you guys want all this exclusive epic stuff. But anyways, what you guys are here for today is the 12 win Halloween challenge. And we're going to be showing you guys two different perspectives. A pay to win if you have a team perspective and a solo perspective so you guys no matter who you are can have the best strategy possible to go forward and to get these pins the skin for free all that stuff so with that being said we're going to hop in the games and show you guys what the best comps are starting off if you're a solo free-to-play player this one is really easy the first map is double swoosh now there are a couple s tier brawlers that are going to be s tier everywhere for example amber you guys are seeing we're laning amber so it's going to be a little bit tough here but the other brawler that is the most hard carry brawler on this map is going to be tara so if you believe you have the ability to kind of just go out and want to carry as hard as you can i would highly recommend playing tara you guys saw i tied over there on lane with an amber if you guys are asking how we're playing these maps i just got a bunch of other good players and just hopped into a friendly room told them to go their best brawlers and whatever they can and try and win so once you get your super you kind of have that lane all to yourself you don't need to do anything extra you don't need any triple pulls all you need is a very simple solo pull and you guys saw i didn't overextend i didn't just super the bush even though even though i knew he was in that bush i just waited for him to come to me so i knew for a 100 percent fact i'd be able to get that kill and again what, the reason why tara is so good here is because you have that gadget so that gadget just totally exposes where they are in the bush we get a kill at the top and again get a really easy kill over there and are able to get that win so if you're a free to play player you know you might not have a team you might not be sweating this like all the pros are all you need to do is go tara the odds you face an actual good team is very very low so i wouldn't be sweating it that much you're all you're most likely just going to be facing other randoms so just play tara try and play like i did here and that is going to be it now let's hop into the next game and show you guys the actual best team comp if you are with a team let's hop into it and let's show you guys what's up all right so hopping into the next game here we're going to be running gene mr p and amber now there's two mr p star powers both of them are good you guys can't go wrong with which one you pick i'm picking the harder one and the harder one is revolving door and all this does it's very simple it makes your penguins spawn faster now mr p is one of the most underrated brawlers in brawl stars and it is forever going to be one of the most underrated brawlers in brawl stars you see brawlers like gene or amber which just absolutely tear through teams but then you have brawlers like mr p which just slowly slowly hit away and you slowly slowly work your way up all you want to do basically is get that first turret set it up where they can't take it out don't play it too aggressively there is no need to put it up so much and your lane is going to waste all of its shots on trying to take out your porter as you guys saw that max wasted every single shot on wasting the porter now unfortunately it made a good play good players will make good plays but every single shot that that max took which is a very very strong brawler it was the best brawler in the game for the last two months was occupied by taking out my little penguin just because i clicked the gadget this brawler is really good and applies constant pressure to the other team you guys see that that max has to come to me because he has to try and take out the porter but he's never ever ever going to be able to because i put it so far back and because mr p just applies that constant pressure and doesn't allow you to do anything now on top of that you have gene mid gene is by far the strongest mid in the game in maps that he's allowed to be so some maps just aren't made for gene obviously but in this map you know gene's just a strong mid you can change the game with one pull you can win someone's lane with one pull you guys already know how it is gene is a very goaded brawler and then the other lane you guys are going to see a lot of this today you're just going to have an amber amber is the best brawler in the game right now that's just how it is doesn't get countered by anything counters basically everything and all you want to do is just hold that auto aim button with amber and you're going to be able to run through teams so this is the best comp for double swoosh in my opinion we're going to hop over to the next map which is going to be hot zone and let's get into it now going into hot zone 
What we're going to have is the exact same game for the free to play and for the best comp because the brawler I'm going to be playing is the best carry brawler that you can possibly go and it is going to be Pam on this map. Now Pam is okay in hot zone. Pam is pretty good at just holding down an area. But what you guys are going to see is literally just me running forward and trying to do as much damage as possible. Now from a team comp perspective, what we're going to be having is a Pam, a Max, and an Amber. Pretty self-explanatory. Max is the best quote-unquote support brawler in the game as it gives you guys speed, gives you guys high DPS, a lot of other things. And then Amber, you guys already know, just absolutely shreds everybody. And then you just got that Pam in the middle holding it down, just doing that DPS, being thick mama Pam, just chilling in that mid, trying to hold that zone as long as possible. It's very easy to win with this comp. Um, you can use any max gadget, any Pam gadget, although I prefer, or any Pam star power, although I prefer the first one. And then Amber's Amber, I don't have to explain Amber. But again, if you're trying to hard carry with Pam, all you gotta do is hold that middle, use your gadgets if you have gadgets, use your star powers wisely if you have star powers, and just hold on to that middle and stay there. You guys see, I'm never at full health this game, but I never go down. Once I get low, I kinda just back up, I let my turret block some shots, I let them have the control for a couple seconds, but once they get that control, as you guys see right here, we heal up and we just storm back and try and take it back. And because Pam is so much HP, because Pam has so much damage, it's really easy in order to take, uh, it's really easy to take that zone back. And it's not that hard. So anyways, that is going to be the comp for hot zone. Now we are going to go into the next mode and we're going to show you guys what the best strat to hard carry is. So going on to heist, we are going to be playing in GG, what I refer to it as GG Corral. That was the beta name. But anyways, the exact same thing as last game. The same brawler that is going to be your carry brawler is also the brawler that fits in with this comp. So the best brawler for this map uh, by far is Brock. And there's a very specific way you want to play it. You want to be holding down that right side and gaining your super. You want to be trying to hold your lane and basically defend anybody coming in. And you want to just tap as many people as possible. Now, normally teams will have a tank in heist, so I will be expecting you guys to face a tank. Um, but just try and charge your super off of that. And what you do when you get your super, their Brock, I'm pretty sure, is about to get it right now, if not later, is you want to break the walls and allow your team to do damage. So the start of this map is very different than how you want to treat the end game. At the start, you're kind of just poking for the first half, trying to get your super, trying to gain position. But once you get your super, you guys are going to see Disney's going to do a great example of what you want to do, just breaking those walls and allowing open shots to the safe. Once you get that super, that's when you want to kind of just go in with your team. Now, the best comp on this map is going to be Brock, Spike, and Daryl. Now, you guys might be asking why. Very simple. Daryl just goes in, he does damage, he rolls, he comes back, that's it. Spike, he's your defense. You want, you want to be, you know, keeping those tanks away. You guys want to just kind of be hiding behind that wall. If you guys can go aggro like Phil is here, that's more than welcomed with this comp. But your goal is to basically defend as best as you can. And Steve, again, the Daryl is just going to be going in over and over and over. With Brock, also very simple. You just want to be holding that right side at the start hold them back, you're kind of like the mid, and then every now and then you want to go up and just take three shots at the safe. If you take three shots in the safe and die, that's fine because you're doing 19% damage if you have incinerary. If you have four rockets, you're doing a little bit less if you're shooting all four on the safe, but I would definitely recommend using the first star power instead of four rockets. So you guys are going to see, again, I'm going to go up, take three shots there, do a ton of damage, and then walk back. When you walk back, you're kind of just chilling, you're holding control, you're trying to hit them, but the only important thing is that you don't die because your Daryl is going to walk up, he's going to super again, he's going to get on that safe, and you're just going to go up and chuck your shots again, and that is how you play this map. It is very, very simple if you guys just follow how I do it here, but the most important thing is you guys break those walls at the start. That allows your Daryl to roll up, that allows you to spray three shots at the safe, that allows your spike to hit the safe. That is the most important thing, so make sure you guys get that done. Now let's move on to the final map where we actually have some tricky comps in a tricky, you know, way of doing this. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys what's up. So hopping into this game, I think other pros might have suggested this comp too. It's not a very traditional comp on this map, but we're going to show you guys how to run it. And if you guys need any more explanation, there's a lot of other pros who have covered this comp, so you guys can check that out. But what we have here is Mortis, Nani, and Bo. Now this Bo mine not even a mine this bow turret thing is not supposed to go there it's supposed to be in the back of your map if i go up over here this is a great example of what you're supposed to be doing it's supposed to be just chilling back there with your nani and then you're going to slowly move up the map and go for a kill what's my job as a mortis my job is to basically protect our nani at all costs our nani is what we are hoping has all 
the stars by the end of the game and I can just go for a couple extra kills here and there. So I'm just gonna be chilling and trying to do my thing. If Nani's using her head, what I wanna do is just jump in the way of that. You guys are gonna see, I'm gonna use my long dash, knock that out and just move back. That thing will one shot Piper, that thing will one shot Nani, will one shot Brock, will one shot any thrower. You cannot let that hit your stars, your DPS. You have to tank that yourself or if you're a bow, you can also tank that. Um, now, if you're playing Nani or bow, these ones are pretty simple. Bow, your job is to just put down that turret, give it to your Nani and protect that Nani. Your Nani gets all the kills here. So make sure this person, whoever is gonna be playing Nani on your team actually knows how to use Nani. If you don't, just play like two games with it on ladder beforehand because that's just gonna get you used to kind of the controls and everything. But that's basically it. You basically just do that for the entirety of the game. And then, you know, you're a Mortis. Once all your um, bow totems go away, all you need to do is just go up to their Piper and you're gonna be able to get really easy kills because you counter Piper, you counter the squishies, you counter the throwers. So it's a really, really easy game to win. Now you can go more aggressive than with Mortis than I'm going here. The only reason I'm not is because there's no need to, but if you do need to go aggressive like I needed to over there, it's really easy to do so. And that is going to be the first comp. Now let's move into our final game, which is going to be the carry brawler. Let's show you guys how to hard carry on this map. Now going into our final game, we're not going to show you guys the full game here because this is very self-explanatory. You guys have seen this 100 times and you guys know exactly how this works. What we're going to be doing is using Piper and Bounty. It is the one shot machine, the carry machine. If you want to hard carry with any brawler in any mode, you are using Piper in Bounty. All you want to do is just chill, get as many kills as possible. You're allowed to die. You're allowed to play aggressive. Just do whatever you want. Get aggro, but just try and slay. Basically what we're going to be doing is just trying to kill them as many times as possible. We can't go up to their Nani because that's too risky. But basically what I'm going to be showing you guys is just me running around, hitting people, getting those taps and getting those kills. And that's literally all you want to do. There's no point in me showing you extra gameplay on Piper right now and just me killing them for two minutes because you guys have seen that 100 times. So very simple. If you guys want to absolutely hard carry on this map, use Piper, get as many kills as possible. That is all you have to do. But anyways, that is going to be it for Shooting Star. So let's hop into the outro. So now anyways, that is going to be the end of the video. If you guys have any questions or have any comps that you want to know if they might be okay on the maps, just put them in the comment section below and I will try and answer as many as I can before the challenge starts. But anyways, that is going to be it. Remember about the Brawl Box giveaway. Very easy. All you guys have to do is subscribe. But that's going to be it for me today and I will catch you guys tomorrow. I will see you guys then. Peace.